A-plus content from Amazon can help you get more sales and better reviews. Don't believe me? Come on and join me. I'll show you. A few years ago, Nine University started out as two guys building an Amazon business selling cornhole lights and talking about it in front of a camera in a 300 square foot studio apartment. Now it's an organization with 150 plus people on payroll featured in the likes of Forbes, Business Insider, Sourcing Journal, and more. Nine University is a team and we have to share what we know with the world, with you. It's not about what we offer, it's about gaining knowledge and expertise from real people building real businesses that you can apply to yourself. Let's freaking get it. Nine University, it's who we are. Hi everybody, my name is Chad Lacey and I'm an Amazon FBA seller. Uh, so I wanted to take a quick second and talk about Amazon's A plus content program. It was formerly called Enhanced Brand Content. Uh, now they call it A plus content. And it's one of the services that's part of brand registry. So if you're not familiar with what brand registry is, I've made another video about that and how to get into it. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, but once you're in brand registry, one of the services that you get is A plus content. And this is a service that uh, can absolutely lead to more sales and better reviews if done correctly. But I want to show you the difference of what uh, A-plus content is and the way it looks on a listing compared to one that isn't. So let's jump over and take a look real quick, okay? So here we are inside of Amazon, and I just did a quick search on, on portable blenders, right? And this particular one I pulled up uh, by a company named Pop Babies. Uh, they're obviously doing well. They've got uh, 2,700 reviews uh, at a four-star rating. Um, so they've got a good thing going on on Amazon, right? They've obviously been selling for a while. Uh, and they're doing well. Uh, so let's scroll down into their listing. Um, and after you get past some of the sponsored products, um, inspired products, you get into their product description. And this is what I want you to pay attention to. So not only do they have, you know, number one, their, their brand name right at the top and the text that you would expect, but they start having this, this really uh, visually pleasing uh, layout of pictures and more information and you can get very very descriptive and show a lot of information about your product so that Potential buyers have a lot more confidence in what they're getting you're answering a lot of their questions and you're showing it to them um, And they can see it and this is something else that I love is that they put a chart here at the bottom with their other SKUs so that you could potentially even upsell somebody, right? So this is the one we clicked on, but they have these other SKUs and it's like, oh, I really like this stainless steel one. I can upscale. And you know, you've got this chart of what are the differences between the two. Um, and so it's just a really, really good looking um, product. And, and again, a lot of information. And so you start to build some confidence up on, in a potential buyer because they know what they're getting. You've explained a lot more information. You've shown them a lot more pictures. Like they've made the connection between the two instead of just words of saying, you know, I have six blades in my blender. Well, I don't know what that means. I can show them what six blades means and, and talk about why that's important and what you need to have. So let's jump over real quick and look at a non A plus uh, content listing real quick. Okay. So here's another one, Blender X. Um, you know, they've got 68 reviews doing about four and a half stars. Um, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're a relatively new seller. They're doing well. I'm not knocking this product at all, but I want to show you the difference in how this can accelerate sales, right? So if I scroll through this product listing, here's all the other, you know, competing products that I have to get to. And, you know, I, I want to know more about this information. Give me the product description and I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling and wait, where's the product description? Let me go back up and look for it. Oh yeah, here it is. It's this text right here. Um, you see how that just lands flat compared to one that has A-plus content? Uh, I mean, sure, it's great information, but it, it doesn't jump off the page the way all these colorful pictures do that I'm scrolling through. It's just, it's just text, and it's so easy to get lost uh, and, and not even see it. And this information that you've taken time to put in about your product, uh, you know, you could even lay out really, really well. That one, I would go as far to say, could, could use some more work. Um, but you could lay out everything really well. It still doesn't have the same kind of impact as the, the pictures and the charts and the colors and everything else that you've got going on in an A-plus content uh, enabled listing. So again, this is another service that Amazon's given you for being in brand registry um, and why I think you know if you're really serious about selling on Amazon, it behooves you to get into brand registry sooner than later. I understand it's a process to get a registered trademark um, and it can be expensive to go through IP Accelerator or hire an attorney. I get all that. 
Uh, but as soon as you've got your business up and running and you're able to get some cash flow in, um, I highly recommend that you sign up for it because these are the kinds of things that other sellers are doing and it can cost you sales if you're not there. And it can cost you reviews too, right? Because the words may say one thing and you can do a really good job crafting the paragraphs that are in there and describing what's going on. And without the pictures that are associated with what you're typing in there, you're leaving it up to the customer's mind to paint the picture of what this product is and what it's going to be able to do for me. And they may have higher expectations than what your product is going to deliver. Okay. So having the A plus content and being able to show them what they're going to get uh, and show them how it works, um, you know, if it's got a USB port and where it's at and all this kind of stuff can just alleviate a lot of not only concern, but misinformation or um, unexpected or unrealized expectations that the consumer may have so that when they actually get their product, they know what they were getting because they saw it all up there um, and they weren't convinced by a bunch of words. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you want some more detailed information about this topic, there's a link below uh, where you can go and get a deeper dive into a plus content. As always, I appreciate you joining me and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks.